The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Welcome to the show. Great stuff to talk about today. We're going to have a great interview about uh, Bradley Manning and where is he? When is his trial? What is he being charged with? Uh, what's his likely jail time if he is convicted? All that stuff is coming up. We're also going to talk about some incredible Fox News lies that have been, uh, have been going on. And we will also show you the incredible pictures that were hacked from George W. Bush, including some of his paintings. George W. Bush paints Lewis. Oh, God. And we've got the pictures. But first, let's get into a few other things. Welcome to everyone watching from the Too Informed to Vote Republican page, the I Love It When I Wake Up in the Morning and Barack Obama is President Facebook page, and the We Survive Bush, You'll Survive Obama Facebook page, joining our live stream. You know, a lot of people don't know we're live on YouTube Monday through Thursday, Lewis. Yeah. It's uh, it's good to know. Yeah. But they should know. 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. You get a you get a you know a step uh, you're a step ahead of everyone if you watch the live stream. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. So let's start with the Christopher Dorner ex Los Angeles policeman story. This story has been blowing up over the weekend. Authorities have now posted a million dollar reward for ex LAPD uh, officer Christopher Dorner. He is um, believed to be well. Number one, he is known to be heavily armed. He is believed to be holed up in the wilderness of California's San Bernardino Mountains, about 80 miles east of Los Angeles. LAPD said that they um, put together the reward raised in part from private donations, as well as police unions and business contributions. And it is the biggest sum ever offered in Southern California for a criminal investigation for a manhunt. And it's interesting to me. There's so many aspects of the story that are interesting. Number one is that a lot of individuals believe that the media coverage of, of Christopher Dorner is different than that of other shooters because of some of the parts of his manifesto, which some say are more liberal and that therefore it is being not discussed. But I look through the whole thing and it's mostly anti-government stuff. And there's a couple, I think there's a mention of anonymous. That's a positive mention. And some people are saying, well, that proves that this guy is some kind of liberal. This is an individual who's clearly mentally ill, clearly, uh, is also inc incredibly resentful from his manifesto of how he was treated and, uh, uh, uh how his how employment wrapped up with LAPD. And to say that this is this to politicize something like this, when you have someone at large who poses such a danger, seems weird to me. Um, we'll have plenty of time to figure out what were his influences, and it will be interesting, no question about it. But I don't really know that there's, again, immediately people jumping to conspiracies. This isn't being covered because of this media conspiracy. And the Jews did this, so therefore this is the narrative on Chris Dorner. I mean, wh what are we talking about here, you know? I don't know. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much evidence uh, as to his uh, his tendencies, of course, usually when you think of a military man, uh, what do you think? You think right wing, probably. Um, but well, the majority of his uh, well, I don't know about that, you know, because it is a misconception that the military overwhelmingly supported Mitt Romney. That wasn't the case. So, but yeah, I know they they overwhelmingly supported Obama. But, uh, you know, uh, eight years ago. You know, it was it was a different story, different story eight years yeah. ago. The reality is most of the manifesto is very, very war and violence centered, talking about bringing warfare to the Los Angeles Police Department and, quote, utilizing every bit of small arms train training, demolition ordinance and survival training I've been given. And he says he has shoulder launched surface to air missiles, which with with which he could knock out helicopters if they try to pursue him with helicopters. I don't really know how this is going to end. We have to assume eventually he he will be captured. The question is, will will he be killing more people before that takes place? Right. I don't know. It sounds like this guy thinks he's Rambo. I mean, and does it make sense to, to you know, organize this massive manhunt for someone who you believe is in the wilderness? I mean, or do you, do you just wait for him to uh, to do something stupid in a public area and draw attention back right. to himself. I don't know. I don't know what uh, what what is protocol. Uh, 